Good day everyone. My name is Jimmy Claire Binag and today I will be reporting about the life of Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi. Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi is known as the father of modern education. He had great influence and a huge impact on the development of educational learning. He was a writer, an educational reformist, and a social justice reformist. He believed everyone was capable of earning an education. He advocated education of the poor and teaching methods to strengthen each child's own abilities. He believed children should learn through the use of material objects and their own experience. He believed children should follow through with their own intuitions and building their own conclusions. His background and education. Pestalozzi was born in Zurich, Switzerland on January 12, 1746. At five years old, his father passed away. He was then raised by his mother and faithful maid. As a child, he was socially awkward and lacked practical abilities. This was the result from intense love and devotion by his mother and maid. He was very sheltered and had limited opportunity to interact with other children. But this whole experience for him led to later interest in his life, so he knew the importance of practical training and socializations for a child to be successful. But he also knew the importance of love and affection. So around 9 years old, he started school. Despite starting school so late, he successfully finished. He then enrolled into Zurich University for ministry and then for law. And during law, he found his passion for education. Next is his contribution to education. So after all, he took up a small piece of farmland and became a farmer. He turned his farmhouse into a learning environment. He called his farmhouse Newhoff. Newhoff was a house for the poor and became a school and home for approximately 50 people, including children and servants. He wanted to provide the poor with shelter and provide a learning environment. He wanted the children to be productive. He would give the children farm work chores and in return, he would teach reading, writing, and have them memorize passages. Unfortunately, this experiment failed due to lack of funds and many responsibilities though he enjoyed the whole experience and learned that children need security, safety, shelter, and genuine affection. So this was really a great learning experience for him. His motto was learning with head, heart, and hands. He wrote the book How Gertrude Teaches Her Children. It was written in 1801. It was a critic of conventional schooling and prescription for education reform, rejecting corporal punishment, root memorization, and bookishness. In this book, he explained his new educational ideas and ways of teaching. He stressed that there should be a balance between the head, heart, and the hands. The head is for intellectual knowledge, Heart is for moral religious education, and hands is for physical and technical education. Through developing all these areas, one becomes a whole. This book became very popular and spread all throughout Europe, and word got out of his educational ways, so Pestalozzi was very popular. And also in this book, he talked about his educational ideas which are first movable letters to teach spelling and reading, visual and tactile aids to teach math, the use of slate and slate pencils to fix corrections, encourage group oral answering, exercise activities, constant interaction between teacher and student, and having a family field setting in which these are all methods that we use today. Let's go to his method of education. Children should first learn to observe, correct their own mistakes, then analyze and describe the object of inquiry. 
the child should start with simple objects and simple observation and builds toward more complex and abstract things. So in the first picture that I have, there's a group of children just doing a simple activity using their own imagination, their own creativity, but they are also observing and learning. They are painting and they are all interacting. And then the second picture that I have that told these younger children playing with colorful blocks and building. So it's really their le learning. They're doing simple activities and working up toward the more complex activities. And really, these are fun activities for children to do. Yerdon in 1805 to 1825. Yerdon was Pestalochi's big project. He started an institution for children and he had high hopes. He was right. Yerdon was completely successful. Yerdon became a world famous institute. This is a place where all educators, philosophers, and government leaders would all come to visit and share ideas. Pestalozzi had spent 20 years focusing on secondary education and teacher preparation programs. This was actually the starting point of teacher licensure and what teachers have to achieve to become educators like certificates or conduct credentials. Pestalozzi has impacted early childhood education today by developing a safe, family feel, warm, learning environment for children, developing concepts of teacher training with certificates and credentials, curriculum innovations like group work, field trips, grade levels, ability grouping, allowing individual differences, teacher and student relationships, education and home connections, importance of physical activities like running and painting, building, drawing, etc. and hands-on learning and observation. Pestalozzi's idea of education and learning has had a massive influence on education today by the interest and needs of each individual child. Pestalozzi died in 1827 at the age of 81 he was the founder of modern education and he once said, My life is devoted to education of the poor. This is what I seek and nothing else. He opened schools for the poor children. So for me, I also believed that Pestalozzi is one of the most influential person in modern education. And he was very successful. That's all for my report. Thank you so much for listening.